Thank you. You're Let's welcome. bring in Miranda Devine. She is a New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor who has followed this story since the beginning. Miranda, welcome to you. I want to play this sound from Tony Bobulinski, and it's followed by Kentucky Congressman James Comer because I think it goes to the heart of what we're talking about. Play this, and we'll get your reaction. I spent five plus hours sitting in a room uh, with, at one point, I think as much as six federal agents walking through all the facts uh, of my knowledge of the Biden family. I can tell you this. Uh, we've been probing Hunter Biden for many months, as you know, Todd, and everything Bobolinsky has said about Hunter Biden, we have fact checked and found to be true. And as you have repeatedly noted, Miranda, this has been going on for years. The grand jury wrapped in June. So the question becomes, if this investigation is legit and robust, wouldn't somebody pick up the phone and call Tony Bobolinsky and figure out what he's got to say? Absolutely. I mean, Tony Bobolinsky went to the FBI uh, before the 2020 election. Uh, the FBI had the laptop since uh, December 2019. So there's absolutely no excuse for not subpoenaing Tony Bobolinsky. He's the number one star witness. Uh, he knows who the big guy is. It's Joe Biden. And the grand jury apparently was asking at least one witness who is the big guy. Um, it just seems, uh, the Washington Post, uh, these leaks, you have to understand the purpose of the leaks. They are strategic uh, and they are to shape public opinion on um, this grave problem that the Biden family has with both Hunter Biden and the president's brother, Jim Biden, under federal investigation. And with the numerous revelations coming out over the last two years uh, from the laptop from Tony Bobolinsky about this yep. uh, corrupt influence peddling scheme that they were running overseas uh, during Joe Biden's vice presidency. But on top of that, the more recent, really sinister uh, revelations that have come from whistleblowers in the FBI, which show yep. the extent of the cover-up and the collusion with big tech. And that's what and that's kind of the next point. Listening to David Spunce reporting on this is the belief is the working theory here, Miranda, that the Delaware U.S. attorney, David Weiss, cut Hunter Biden a deal and Biden won't take it. Is that what we're we're thinking is in the process here? Yeah, well, that's certainly what uh, we're hearing from the Delaware side. But from the Hunter Biden side, uh, they tell me that there has been no plea deal. Uh, no sources close to Hunter Biden say he's not been offered any plea. And not only that, they are claiming that they're outraged about these leaks. And uh, they're also uh, trying to say that, look, the Delaware um, US attorney has spent four years investigating Hunter Biden and they've come up with nothing. And now they're desperately trying to seize on taxes. Um, I, I don't think that's the true story because uh, there's a lot more than taxes or a gun charge, albeit a felony, uh, in, in, that's come right. out in the laptop. I mean, there's uh, enormous numbers of... Uh, they were supposed yep. to be looking at Foreign yep. Agent Registration Act violations and so on. Miranda, we got to go with some breaking news. Thank you for the, up, the uh, update. We appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.